Hi everyone, this is Brianna, and today we are going to be doing a 20 minute vinyasa flow. You're going to need two blocks, and if you don't have two blocks, you can also take two blankets rolled up. So let's get started in a child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as the mat, big toes touch. Releasing your hips back to meet your heels, extending your arms out long. If you'd like, you can bring a block underneath the chest and one to support the forehead. Slowly start to settle into the room, settle into your practice. Bring some awareness into your breath without trying to change your breath, just being where you are today. Noticing if your breath is shallow, if it's deep, if you're breathing from your belly or from your chest, just seeing where you are. Taking a full body scan from the crown of the head all the way down to the toes. Slowly bringing some awareness into the breath, bringing some intention into the breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale it out through the nose. Deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. Slowly making your way into a neutral tabletop, coming onto all fours, spreading the fingertips out wide, our knees are hip width distance, taking a few cat and cows, deep breath in, dropping the belly, heartless gaze is up. Exhale, rounding the spine, navel pulls in. Inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, pressing the mat away, rounding the spine. Taking two more at your own pace, at your own breath. You can circle out the hips, you can circle out the wrist if that feels good. And then slowly making our way back into a neutral tabletop. Rooting down through the left hand, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, threading our needle, right arm underneath left, and releasing the right ear down to the mat. And if you have that space, start to extend that left arm out long. Two breaths. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Planting the left hand, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, dropping it down. Coming to the opposite side, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, threading our needle. And if there's some space in between that left ear and the mat, just bringing a block underneath. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Planting that right hand, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, release. Now spreading our fingertips out wide, tucking our toes, hips come up and back, downward facing dog. So first downward dog of the day for many of us, so maybe feeling a little weird, feeling a little funky. So bringing some movement into the body, bending the knees in circle, the head if that feels good open and close the jaw one more breath inhale exhale bending the knees gaze to the fingertips walking the feet to the front of the mat and really taking your time there's no rush coming into our rag doll so feet is hip width distance Soft bend in the knees. You can grab opposite elbows if that feels good. You can sway the weight forward and back from the heels into the toes. 
and really allowing your head to drop off here. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Releasing the hands, deep breath in, flat back, straightening out the legs, hands, knee, chin. Exhale, fold, softening the knees. Slowly coming up one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last to come up. Deep breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, prayer to heart center. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping the feet back, plank pose, holding it here for one breath. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, hips come up and back. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, stepping it through, coming into our low lunge, releasing that left knee down, untucking the toes. Inhale, arms extend overhead. So checking in with our foundation, the knee stacked over the ankle. Our hips are squared to the front of the mat. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Releasing the hands down, tucking our back toes, coming into our high lunge twist. That right arm will extend overhead. Now option here to release that left knee down or bringing a block underneath that left hand. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Releasing the top hand down and stepping the right foot back, plank pose, one breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking two breaths here. Checking back in with the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, stepping it through, low lunge. Releasing that right knee down, rooting to rise. Arms overhead. Now starting to find some ease here in the pose, starting to soften the shoulders, soften the face, the gaze. One more breath. Releasing the hands down, tucking the right toes, coming into our lunge twist. That left arm will extend overhead. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. Exhale. Releasing that top hand down. Left foot steps back, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Exhale it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Stepping that right foot to meet the right hand. Coming into our high lunge, arms overhead. One breath, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, dropping that back heel, teeing out the arms, bending deep into that right leg's knee over ankle. One breath, inhale. Exhale, flipping that front palm, bringing it back, peaceful warrior. And start to straighten out that right leg and start to hinge forward, coming into our triangle pose. So option here to bring a block to the inner edge of that right foot. Or maybe the gaze comes up to the ceiling. One more breath. Exhale it out. Coming back into our warrior two, teeing out the arms, flipping that front palm, bringing it back peaceful. Exhale, cartwheeling the hands down, stepping it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. 
exhale, stepping it through, high lunge, one breath, inhale, exhale, warrior two, deep breath in, exhale, flipping that front palm, bringing it back, peaceful warrior, straightening out that left leg, and then start to hinge forward, coming into our triangle pose, grounding down through the feet, inner thighs, squeeze in, one more breath, exhale it out, bending into that left leg, warrior two, flipping that front palm, bringing it back, peaceful, exhale, hands to the mat, Stepping it back, downward facing dog. Coming back into our breath, inhale, exhale. Knowing if you ever lose your way, your breath will bring you back home, inhale, exhale. Releasing back down to our mat, coming into our neutral tabletop, taking two more cat and cows, checking back in, inhale, dropping the belly, heart lifts, exhale, rounding the spine, noticing how this compares to your first cat and cow, maybe there's some more space in the body, And then coming back into our neutral tabletop, dropping that right hip down to the mat, taking a seat, extending both legs out long. I'm gonna take a forward fold. Now first checking in, removing any flesh, rooting down through our sits bones. Taking a deep breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at the hips, starting with a flat back. And once you start to find your edge, then start to round the spine, chin tucks into the chest. Two breaths here. Exhale it out. One more inhale. Exhale. Releasing our hands back to meet our hips. And then grounding the soles of the feet into the mat, coming into our reverse tabletop, pressing the mat away, the hips lift, and releasing the head. One breath, inhale, exhale. Releasing our hips back down to the mat, and now making our way onto our backs. So from our back, drawing our knees into the chest, giving them a nice squeeze. Rocking the weight from left to right. Giving the back a little massage. Maybe taking some circles at the lower back. And then coming back to stillness, coming into our happy baby, grabbing the outside of the feet, the knees draw into the armpit. If this is too much, modification grabbing for the back of the thigh. Maybe taking some gentle rocks. One more breath. Drawing the knees back into the chest, giving them a nice squeeze. And then releasing the soles of the feet down to the mat. So now we're gonna make our way into our figure four. So that right ankle will come on top of the left knee. Continuing to press the right knee away from the body. So option to stay here or slowly start to draw the left knee into the chest, grabbing for the back of the thigh. Continuing to flex through the feet, releasing any tension. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now releasing the hands, but staying in our figure four, that left foot will come down to the mat. We're gonna take a twist over to the left side. So that right sole of the foot will stamp all the way over. An option here, if you want a deeper stretch, to use that left hand to grab for that right wrist. The gaze can come over to the right side. Two more breaths here.
One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Releasing that hand from the ankle and coming back to center and releasing that right foot down to the mat. Slowly start to windshield wiper the knees from left to right, releasing the hips, and then coming back to center, coming to the opposite side. So that left ankle on top of the right knee, same as before, option to stay here, or start to draw the right knee into the chest, continue to press that left knee away from the body. Two breaths. Deep breath in, long breath out. Releasing the hands from the back of the thigh, staying in our figure four, right foot is down to the mat, and then twisting over to the right side. So left sole of the foot stamps over. Same as before, you can use that right hand to grab for the left ankle, and gaze will come over to the left side. One more breath, inhale, exhale, releasing the hand from the ankle and coming back to center and releasing the left foot down, windshield wipering the hips from left to right, and then coming back to stillness, drawing the knees into the chest, giving them a nice squeeze. And then we're gonna go for our legs up the wall. So start to extend the legs up to the ceiling. Your arms can come alongside. You can close the eyes if that's comfortable. Slowly start to release the blood flow back into the heart, back into the head. Slowing down our practice. And then slowly start to bend into the knees, releasing the feet down to the mat. Giving the knees another squeeze, hugging everything in. And then coming into our supine twist, so the knees will draw over to the left side. Gaze is to the right. Both shoulders ground down into the mat. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Drawing the knees back into the chest, giving them another squeeze, and then over to the opposite side. Last breath, inhale, exhale, bringing our knees back to center, giving them one final squeeze and slowly start to take some rocks the length of your mat taking about three to five getting that natural momentum and making our way back into a seated position removing any flesh rooting down taking a deep breath in extending the arms overhead Exhale, twisting over to the right side. So that left hand on the knee and that right arm comes behind. Deep breath in to lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms overhead, center. Exhale, twisting to the left side. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, arms back to center. And release down center prayer. Closing the eyes. Bringing some awareness into our breath. Closing out our practice with one cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose, filling up the belly, expanding the ribs all the way to the top. Mouth wide, side out.
I want to thank you all for allowing me to guide you in your practice. Namaste.